Welcome Scorpio to your money and career reading for the remainder of November moving into December. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and let's see what spirit has in store for you. Okay, so for your situational energy, this is a 10 card reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh, I love this. Scorpio, boss energy. This is the emperor. This, ooh, this is like being in charge, knowing the direction that you are moving in. So with that situational energy, you are like full desire, passion. You're moving in that direction. Nothing is stopping you. I love that. Okay, so for your challenge. Hmm. Now, interesting. <laughs> this one here. This is the three of fire. And the three of fire, this one's talking about new opportunities and possibilities. So with this boss energy, this showing up as a little bit of a challenge. And what I feel from this is that there, there, it feels like there's a lot of newness. There's a lot of, um, okay. Like that, the fire energy Scorpio, it's, it's really like a buildup of energy that has been waiting to be unleashed. And it, it kind of feels like there is like, wow, like I'm not ready for this, you know? And I kind of, that that's what I'm receiving from this. So just because it shows up as a challenge, it doesn't mean that this is something that is inhibiting you. This isn't something that is um, like blocking your way. This is almost like, um, it's kind of like that ready, set, go, like ready, set, go now, you know, and you're just like, whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. Like, let me just, let me just take a breath. Let me just, you know, kind of figure this out. <laughs> so that's kind of, that's what I'm feeling from this. And so just allowing yourself to know that it's, it's, it's a three, a three is smaller on that scale of, um, energy that's going to, um, really impact it's kind of like a hiccup it's kind of like a, a mindset shift all you have to do is just shift it boom done so let's move on to your situation or your placement excuse me for card number three which is belief and that is oh yes this is the queen the queen of wands this is my favorite queen this queen represents that you are communicating very, very directly. So this queen, there's that little bit of sass to this queen. And the queen will say exactly what she wants to say and not letting anything um, fluff it up, okay? So no fluffiness here. You are being very direct. You're being very intentional on your communication. I really love that. Mm, I love this. And I love that there is, like you have to appreciate that little apprehension of moving into a new direction or moving into some new opportunity that's coming up for you. It's really exciting. And it's, it's like having those butterflies. It's really cool. I love that. But having that, like you have that emperor and you have the queen of, of swords, she's my favorite queen because she has that sass, because she has that directiveness. So your, ooh, yes, I love this. So this one here is the root of the reading. This is the fourth placement. And this one is the seven of cups. The seven of cups is talking about all of the opportunities that you have. Now, it's showing that there's there's a lot. So that's why this could be a challenge because you're just like, which path? <laughs> which one do I take? There's, there's a lot of things that could be coming up for you in your career and finances. So with your career, you know, there could be a promotion, there could be like a different department or for entrepreneurship, there could be all sorts of things, all sorts of projects or things that you want to create and you don't know what to start with first. So there's, 
there's a short term things and there's long term things that are coming up for you. And so that's like, I love that this is the root of the reading because it's showing that there is a variety of things that are showing up for you. And also I want to mention that with this card, it does say, uh, it does signify that there could be things that are kind of like too good to be true. So with these cards coming up, um, or with these opportunities coming up, make sure that you're looking for the shiny new toy, you know, making sure that um, you're kind of doing a little bit of research, even if it's a short term thing, or if it's a long term thing, some short term things can be very, very valuable in your development. But what I'm talking about is things that are disguised as legit, okay, um, or it could just be a complete waste of time there's a lot of really good things that are long term. And there's a lot of really good things that are coming for you that are short term, but just um, have that decisiveness. And bring that sass out. When someone is approaching you with a new opportunity, just make sure that you're asking a lot of questions and that you're you're doing your due diligence for your research. Okay, ooh. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is the five. This is the five of pentacles. So the pentacle is that earth energy and that earth energy is your foundation. This is not feeling left out in the cold. The five, you're shifting from this feeling. You're transforming into a different energy, into a higher energy and you're leaving this behind. I love this, the five of pentacles, that root foundational energy that you are no longer going to be feeling left out in the cold. I love that. Mm, this is amazing. So future, let's see what comes up for your future. I'm really excited. I'm Scorpio as well. Okay, hey, well, this is good. This is the nine of fire. And this one's coming up as all of the exhaustiveness is out of the way. I love how you're moving out. You're moving out of the uh, feeling left out in the cold and you will no longer be feeling that exhaustiveness energy. Things are really, really picking up um, in that you're in that well, moving into that Sagittarius energy, we're still in your energy, Scorpio. And your internal is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, this is that deep intuitiveness. So with this cup energy here, the Seven of Cups, this is really going to come in handy, your your um, internal energy that's really going to kind of pick apart anything that is um, getting that, uh, you know how intuitiveness or the, um, the gut feeling, you kind of get that radar, you kind of get that beep, 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 like this is like um, something that's not legit, it's something that's not going to work out. And uh, that is your internal energy. So really listen to your intuition, really listen to your body and uh, your gut feelings when these opportunities are coming up for you, for your money and career. Big time intuition. Intuition is really, really developing. Um, we're in the age of Aquarius. And so that is um, the top three chakras. So there's a lot of heightened energy and that intuitiveness is really going to continue growing and developing as we move on through the years. Now, hey, okay, so <laughs> this one here. Now, it's the external. It's the external and it's things that are going on around you. And it's things that are falling apart, but they're falling into place. The right pieces are falling into place. So that's why you are no longer going to be feeling like you're left out in the cold because that's falling apart now, that's falling away. And so is that exhaustiveness. You have this new path to go. So 
This is also why this is showing up as a challenge, the new opportunities, because you could be currently going through a small, medium, or large tower moment. Tower moments, um, sometimes you don't really notice them or you're just immediately like, thank you, tower moment. Or there's the tower moments where you are just like, oh my gosh, when's this gonna end? I can't believe I'm in this situation. These are situations that we are uh, moved out of when we don't see it for ourselves. And it's the universe, it's spirit, it's God that is taking us by the shoulders and just kind of moving us along and moving us back onto the path that we're supposed to be on. And so you're going to be moving into something that is going to be providing a lot of opportunities for your money and career. Now, um, love your tower moment, appreciate your tower moment, grow from your tower moment. All right, so hopes, dreams, and fears. Let's see what you are receiving. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, we have two, two here. Yes, oh, that's so nice. That's really, really nice. So this is the page, the page of pentacles. That is something new. The page is always representing that something new is going to be happening. Now, you are holding this pentacle in your hand and you are admiring it because you have you have new things that are starting and new foundations that are starting. So there is that dreaming about it. There is that uh, fantasizing. There is that imagining and that inspiring and, and the excitement and the happiness, the joy of having new opportunities, new foundational elements happening in your life. Now, this one here, really beautiful. This is the three of pentacles. Again, foundational earth energy. This is about people looking up to you and it's also people that you can lean on. These are your people. These are your like-minded people. The people that you can trust with anything and everything that you can tell, like, you know, the craziest ideas that you have for something that's coming up or like for an entrepreneurial um, uh, move or for just like your creative thoughts. It's having that support and having those cheerleaders. And that's what you have. That is really amazing moving forward, moving forward, having that support that's so nice. Like having that togetherness, having, having like, um, the people that are standing behind your back and, 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 and sometimes that's all you need is to know that there are people, regardless of what's happening, they're always standing behind you and they're ready to support you. And that fell off the table. So I'm going to go get that and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So we have, again, we have two cards and these are two pretty fantastic cards. This is your energy. This is amazing, beautiful, flow, intuitive energy. Now, I want to add here, sorry, this is for uh, the outcome. And now I wanna add, you have this queen here for the internal, for the outcome here, you have the king. And what that represents is you have that power couple. You have that power couple, that duo energy. You have that male and female energy. You've got it. You've like, talk about support. Talk about support. You've got it. Like really, really showing up. Wow. It's like the decisions that you make here, here, this, here's this one. It's the nine. It is like that make a wish. It's the nine of cups. And this is like really good, amazing, high quality success. Like make a wish, make a wish. Cause it's coming true. This is amazing. I love that. What an amazing card and what an amazing finish for this King, that King that tr very much trusts their intuition, trust their movements forward. And plus with the situation of the whole reading, it is that boss energy. It is you knowing, you knowing without a doubt what it is that you're going to do, feel it. 
feel it and move forward. And yes, you can have that apprehensiveness. You can have those butterflies, but know that you have the support from spirit, from your friends, from your coworkers, from your like-minded people. Those people are here for you. That's amazing. Scorpio, I love this so much for you. I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.